We're back at it again here, last day of the open house for the John Kincaid Show, the longest running morning sports talk show in Philadelphia. We're here, the 10 already blew away on us. We're looking to have some fun today though. Hopefully that's not a bad sign. Sixers coming off a big win. We got some big names coming in. We got Kate Scott, we got our boy George Yang, and the head coach, Doc Rivers. No fire Doc chance today. Big win last night. Let's have some fun with it. With the stacked lineup we had today, our amazing listeners all piled in and it was an absolutely packed house for the last live show of the week. For the amazing Sixers coverage, we had to get Jamie Lynch in and have the listeners ask a bunch of questions to the show before we had the great Mickey Morandini in live to talk some Phillies baseball. Of course, to start it off, we had to have the head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers in, Doc Rivers. He was actually such a cool dude to joke around and head Doc out. Doc Rivers is in the house. Doc got a great ovation because it was a victory Friday, so Pat had to show him his dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Rivers is saying, what the hell? Like, Doc, 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 Doc was actually very open and honest about what he's seen from the Sixers team up until the All-Star break and gives a little bit of an insight of what we were going to see throughout the end of the season. Uh, you know, my two years in the playoffs, Joel has not been healthy. We need a healthy Joel. Uh, we need a healthy James. Uh, we need a healthy team uh, to win. And so we're going to do whatever we can uh, doing this stretch. You know, uh, I'm not going to use the word load management. Please don't, because yeah, I, I, hate, hate, yeah, I, I hate the word. I have a load management meeting two days ago, <laughs> and I was sitting there like, you got to be freaking kidding me. Okay, that's what I can't come. I need load management. Big applause for Doc as we hope that they can continue this strong, successful season. Man, how cool is Doc Rivers, right? He's saying this is the best team we've had here. He's saying Joel Embiid's the best talent that he's ever coached. It's unbelievable what he has to say about the squad. It was so fun to have him in. The people loved him. It's going to be a fun finish to the season for the Sixers. Next up, we had the newest voice of the 76ers. She is Miss Kate Scott. What's a better way to get the crowd going than to bring a bunch of free swag to throw out? It's always tough to follow a legend and Mark Zoom off, but I think Kate's been doing an absolutely great job. And of course, she had the tee when up her man. When you're on a game and something happens, say somebody hits a You know, I am a huge fan of like? this guy who bang, talks bang. a whole lot of trash. Oh, yeah. And a bang, bang, George and Yang. Welcome. Yeah. George came in looking for some trouble and it got everybody going. He was getting loud rounds of applause and a lot of laughs. Number one in the East uh, for the majority of uh, uh, this year and uh, they have a lot of good players over there but uh playing in uh wells fargo is is a lot different than them playing at home and we've had to play them at home twice i don't know if i want to go and get dinner anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a rocket man. I'm like, oh. you did have a heart to heart about that when you say that i just think of what joel says in the locker room he was like the media hates the process <laughs> <laughs> the two of them were absolutely awesome they were such cool, down-to-earth people. They were taking pictures, signing autographs, and just hanging out with the people. Get that gut, baby. There it is. <laughs> Shout out the boy Chick-fil-A. He brought in his George Niang College throwback jersey to get it signed. This was such a fun and cool experience to be a part of. I'll let George, Kate, and John take it away. It was electric, 97.5 the Fanatic. They showed love, it was a great time. We talked a little smack, talked to Sixers. You know what we're doing at the end of this year. <laughs> oh, go Sixers. Well, anytime you get to be part of a live studio audience, it's rad, fans here are amazing. And uh, how good was George, right? He I mean, awesome. he's, all, uh, he's coming for your job in the next five to 10, but the vibes are right. Big win last night, go Sixers. Thanks for having us here. The end of open house week was absolutely amazing, but it's just the beginning. Make sure you are staying tuned every single week to the John Kincaid Show. We've always got something going on, and we're looking forward to having you join us next week here all week long, 6 to 10 a.m. right here on The Fanatic.